Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look right here. I did a green cut crease, um, kind of St. Patrick's Day look. And also I'm wearing my necklace that was sent to me by Marina Collections. I will link all their info down below. And I'm also using the Nicole Guerrero Highlight Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I'm really excited to use this one. This is my first time using it. Let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm going to go in with this NYX eyeshadow base. It's white. I'm just going to coat the lid with that and then with a flat synthetic brush. Now I'm just going to use another flat brush and um, some like cream colored eyeshadow to set that. So I'm just using the Morphe Kathleen Lights palette and I'm just using this cream shade, the second one down. So now I'm going to go in with this kind of orangey mustardy brown color here. Since I want it to be a really like cut eyeshadow here, I'm I actually just remembered I wanted to use a little bit of scotch tape. Just gotta get this right on how I want this to go. And like right. Bam. Take that same mustardy brown color, just use that as a transition shade, and just kind of fan that out towards the outer corner and a little bit above the crease. Now I'm going to use kind of a mixture of this matte like brown color and this black down here. And just keep that a little lower in the crease. And now I'm going to go back in with that orangey brown color and just blend out. I'm not picking up any more color on the brush. I'm just blending those two colors together. I'm going to use that same flat synthetic brush that I used for the um, eyeshadow base and just try to clean up that line a little bit and pick up a little more product. Now I'm going to take another flat synthetic brush and I'm going to pick up this shimmery green shade here. First I'm going to spritz my brush with some rose water. Actually, you know, I'm just going to dip it in because my pump is not working that well. And just put this one all over the lid. I'm just going to take this eye blending brush and pick up some more of this like cream colored shade right up in here and just go under the brow bone just to blend out that orangey color. Alright so now I am going to take my Ico skinny liquid liner. I'm just going to try this with the tape there and just see. So now I'm going to go ahead and take the tape off and we'll see how this worked out. Ooh, that actually worked out really well, surprisingly. Sorry, this side. And I love it. <laughs> now I'm just going to take some concealer. I'm using the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer. And I'm just going to go underneath my eyes. Down the bridge of the nose. Now I'm just spritzing my beauty blender with some rose water and I'm going to blend all of that concealer out. I am going to use this tapered brush to bake with the RCMA powder. And then I'm just going to dust it in all the other areas that I did my concealer. And I'm going to leave that on for a few minutes while I do my brows. For the brows, I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in shade Soft Brown. I'm just going to trace out my brow shape first with this. And start filling in. 
Now I'm just going to take the spoolie on the other end of this and just comb that out a little bit. Now all that RCMA powder is ready to be dusted off, so I'm just going to start dusting off. Now I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation Stick in Fawn to contour. So I'm just going to go right under the cheekbones here and a little bit around outside of my face and a little bit on the jawline. I'm just going to use a flat brush just to go down my nose and contour a little bit. Use my medium contour brush to blend my contour. <laughs> this is the first time I'm using this contour or this foundation stick, but I'm using it as a contour, um, and it blends out really nice. It actually gives like a really natural shadow because it's got some gray undertones which shadows obviously it makes it look like a natural shadow on your face and I'm just going to take that beauty blender again and just kind of blend down the center of the nose now I'm going to take the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette and use the blush I'm going to be using a mix between these two shades right here. I think this is Amaretto and Rosé Spritz. I'll just put that right on the apples of the cheeks. And I'm just going to blend that out with the powder brush. Now for the exciting part, I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero palette. This is so pretty. These, I haven't even tried them yet. I just kind of checked with my finger and they're so pigmented. They're so pretty. I am going to take, I guess like the whole top row. And just dust that on. These are so pretty. I love it. I'm going to spritz my face with some rose water so it goes on a little more. Now I'm just going to work on the lower lash line. I'm going to take that same green that we put on the lid and just put some of that underneath. I'm just going to use a little bit of that Anastasia Beverly Hills in the inner corner of my eye here. I absolutely love this palette. This one is I think my favorite highlight palette right now. This is a really good one. Now I'm just going to use some of the Kylie Cosmetics black liner on the lower lash line. Now I'm just going to finish off with the lips. I'm going to use the Kylie Cosmetics Exposed Liner. And now I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick. And that is it. So now I'm just going to top it off with my Scandinavia Setting Spray. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next time, bye! And I'm just going to use this flat synthetic brush just to coat. <laughs> There's a clear seal on top. <gasps> I smudged it. This one's gonna have so many bloopers.